Yes. It's the story of the Ohio single mom. I just hated this story. Just trying to make ends meet. 24-year-old um, Shayna Bell was recently arrested and charged with child endangerment after leaving two of her children ages 10 and 2 in a motel room so that she could go to work at her local uh, Little Caesars. Now, Shayna says her job was right down the street, and she claims that she had arranged for someone to check in on her kids every hour during her shift. Following her arrest, Shayna's own mom, Danielle, set up a GoFundMe page to help her secure permanent and safe housing, which so far has raised over $165,000. Oh, the kindness of people. Ladies, there's a lot to discuss here, so what are your thoughts on this story? We have to stop shaming mothers, especially during a pandemic. Everybody's doing the best they can. You know, she works for Little Caesars. I don't think Little Caesars is paying enough for her to not only pay her bills, but also pay for help. And I know personally, with my son Oliver, they have four kids at the house. They don't want to bring somebody from the outside to take care of the kids because of COVID and the pandemic, and they're nervous. They haven't, you know, uh, my grandson is just now a year. so. People are trying to do the best they can, and we have to let them be and support in other ways. Like, I love that they raised so much money for her, and hopefully now she can really make use of this money and be able to support her kids. And I think we have to stop and say, how can I help instead of pointing a finger? That's how I yes. feel about it. Yes, I think the proof of the funds that people provided is proof that their hearts went out to this woman because probably mm -hmm. so many people can relate. We are in a different world right now. People are really struggling. And I know it's crazy, but like, maybe I grew up in a different time and I don't know if, again, if this is right or wrong and I'm not a parent yet like this. Um, but my mom left my sister and I home alone a lot of times as well. Like this was not like some new crazy thing. Grant, you know, like so I'm, I'm just curious as to one, I didn't really understand how they found out that the children were alone. Yeah, that's a good Maybe point. Somebody snitched. So, th yeah, okay, somebody so that's, snitched. that's an yeah. issue to me, but obviously the safety of the children is the most important thing. But guys, tell me, growing up, was this the norm for you or was this something that was never done? Yeah, I was a latchkey kid. My mom worked from 3 to 11, so we would, yeah. I would let myself in after school. Yeah. She would leave me something to eat. And, uh, and I was home, you know, and then my sisters and everybody else started coming later. But, yeah, I mean, you were home alone. I leave my boys alone um, now that they're 13, but I left them alone when they were 10, at least, you know, for a couple of hours, not only because there yeah. were two of them, but also it gives them a little bit a sense of independence, too. The issue I have is that in Ohio, there's no law that indicates that um, what age a child should be left unattended. So there's no law. So you can leave your child if it's two. That's you're not you're not breaking the law. So you know to go back to your point, Munchkin, that someone snitched and to arrest her. They arrested her, right. so she was in jail for a whole day away from her. Who's children. watching the kids then? The exactly. father ended this up did not watching help the, the children. Situation. Yeah, it doesn't help. It's like she didn't break a law. They 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 put the law of of child endangerment. But where was the child endangerment? Because they were left by themselves. But you have a law that doesn't say that there's right. no age that you. So that doesn't make sense. And so th these are the type of laws. I hate to go back to this, but when you you say, well, did y'all arrest her because she was a woman of color? Is that the reason That's why? What I was and you take away from mm -hmm. her kids for a whole yep. a whole day? It's like the How girl is that? trying yeah. to survive. So that's she the issue arrested. that a lot of people have. Let me not even. Let me not even. What? She's arrested, but Breonna Taylor's killers aren't arrested. I just okay. I just wanted that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it makes no sense to me. Obviously, there's something really wrong here. The system is really wrong. Again, the system is really wrong in the sense that this woman feels the need to have to leave her children alone because she has to make ends meet. It, it, there are right. so many parents right now that are placed in such terrible positions. These are your options. You leave your kids alone at home so that you can go provide food for them and a roof over their head, or you have no money, no, no food, you can't pay for your rent because you need to sit with them and take care of them all day. It's a terrible position to put parents in, and it's a really hard time, and we need to be more empathetic to what, what what people are going through right now. And Agreed. a person that snitched, why didn't you just go and help her and help, help. babysit the damn kids? Why you, you, you know? Yeah. There you why go. Why you do that? Oh, 
I'm mad. Yeah, I think definitely right. number one is the community <laughs> needs to step together because just between our neighbor system, I really did have a neighbor system where I knew all four points of my neighbors around my house when I stayed home at from seven, from seven years old on, and then my brothers, I also took care of them. But it wasn't right, and I'm not encouraging single moms out there to figure out that system where no matter how old or young your kids are, just kind of let them fend for themselves as you try to put food on the table. I want to take it to uh, the next level where we have to talk about minimum wage. The average single parent household makes less than $50,000 a year mm -hmm. for your entire family, and yet we still have inflation taking place every day. No matter what, with the pandemic, the price of housing and rent still went up. Still the same. Nothing ceased. Yeah. And so there's a bigger issue with, uh, yeah. with minimum wage, and there's also a bigger issue that there's not a support system in place for single moms out there, single parents out there. So somehow we have to allocate the funding in a way that we support these single parents so that they don't have to, they have, they don't have to resort to this option. And I do think that it would have been a very different situation if it was a white woman. I don't know if she would have been arrested under these conditions because I, don't think I think so. that there's a stigma out there with black yeah. moms. And I think that Absolutely. this was one of those cases where we won't know unless the, Terrible. the roles were reversed. Yeah, and you can terrible. tell people care because she was only asking for five thousand dollars on the GoFundMe, yeah. and she's got a yeah. hundred and it'll probably keep good growing. For her. And good for good her, for her. and so use great. it to take care her. of your family. Thank you, exactly. America. Thank you, America. <laughs>